Hi, Martin here. Today I'm out here in uh, Henderson, Nevada at the pick apart. At, um, day before Thanksgiving, got out of work early, thought I'd come down here and check it out. Since I live in Pahrump now, I don't make it out here to pick apart as often. And, um, well, you just don't see XJs hardly anymore in the lineup. Unless they look like this one. That's how they get here. <laughs> they got to be totaled. This is a 98, same year as my own. Looks like it had some uh, hood vents on it. The engine is gone. Well, so is the transmission transfer case. Looks like it had some mods done to it. It's got some upgraded arms on the front. Someone's been working on taking that front end out of there. So you got a good uh, high pinion Dana 30 there, maybe. And I mean, you can tell this thing, she rolled over hard. The front seats actually didn't look too bad. Little wear on that uh, passenger, I mean driver one as you get in and out of it and the center console actually looked pretty good too and it's got an aftermarket uh, bumper on it or a homemade one not too bad looking and I noticed that someone's been in the rear end checking out the gear ratio I haven't got underneath there yet to see if it's an aftermarket ratio or not and we got the skid plate here too. Is anybody looking for those? Those are getting hard to find. And rust free. That might have been the engine or the uh, transmission and transfer case out of this. I don't know. I don't know about that. That doesn't look right. And there was a bunch of uh, Jeep Grand Cherokees here. I think there's 304s in here. There's a 98, a Commander, a few Liberties. All seem to be new down here. There's a 99 Grand. It also looks like it had some uh, misfortune. Yep, yep. Pretty good little roll over there. So, you know that this engine was running at the time. So there's a 4.7 available. Come down and get it. And we got a, another XJ. Uh, this is a 92. And it looks like it had been sitting underneath a tree for a very long time. There's lots of evidence of it. Uh, just been sitting around. Like, you know, this type of stuff. Someone's gotten a few parts out of it. And what I mean about it sitting around a long time. That looks like uh, some poop. So it was some critter's home for a while. Here's an O2 Grand. And there's another O4 right there. And another O4. Love that metallic blue, that looks nice. Now there are no HO engines out here at the time. Another 
non-HO. There's always a few liberties in the lineup. It looks like we got, what is this, an 05 grand? And when you come out to pick apart, they always got the year in the back. Well, it's an 09. Much newer than I thought. Let's see what for a motor it has. Wouldn't it be nice if it was a 47, even a newer one? No, it is a 3.7. Some signs of uh, water leakage down there. Yeah, I would pass on this engine. It probably got hot a few times. And then we got another Grand with the 3.7 in it. Brand new looking alternator right there. You know, when they don't have any uh, severe body damage, you can almost guarantee that, you know, there was some mechanical issue, like an engine. This one here being an 08. Yeah, you're just not seeing these out here anymore hardly. I'm surprised this one, well, it'll, it's going to get stripped down quick. I bet this one showed up here just in the past day or so. And if I was needing another 4.7, a spare one, I'd be getting this one right here. But the poor XJ. It's got a 3.7 here. Looks like someone was uh, getting ready to pull this engine out of here. They're close. But when it's got no body damage on it, you just got to make you wonder. And that is an 07 Commander. How about we go over here to the Dodge Row. Have a look. See what we got. Now, I wanted to show you something here. Check out that piston. Now, here is a typical drop valve situation. Look how hard that valve, or valve seat, sunk into that piston. And that piston is literally sitting in here crooked. You can actually see the piston ring right down in here. Now, the cylinder head on this one was here like a, a week or so ago. Let's see if I can find it. Oh, here we go. This is the cylinder head off this thing. Yeah, right there. Now, I don't know what happened to the valve. If the, I mean, it's gone, but you can see right there i mean look at that damage when that seat came out of there i don't know if that's the seat that did that damage which i think it is or the valve the seat probably broke 
and that piston came back up and it just slammed into that thing. Scram! Go, 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 go! I am not a fan of pigeons. Guys at work could tell you some stories. Got a Hemi there. Got us a Durango here, 4.7. And actually, if I didn't have a set of fenders already for my Dakota, I would be taking those because they, the paint on these still looks really pretty damn good. And you just gotta love Southern Nevada. I mean, you don't see no rust. Yeah, these are, that's pretty nice looking fenders. And that's an 01, exact same year as mine. Now I know this was out here uh, a couple weeks ago. You know, a couple more weeks or so, and they're going to be swapping out the Dakota inventory slowly. And Durango's. I mean, look at that. There's no rust on this old boy. That is in 89. You wouldn't uh, find anything like this in Iowa. Yeah, I mean, look at that. Straight fenders, doors. No rust. So according to the sticker up here, this is a 5.9, 360. Chrysler Aspen. It's got a uh, 4.7 in it. Now, unfortunately, this is an 07. So this is the last year before they upgraded the uh, 4.7. Absolutely beautiful day today, too. No wind. It's like 65 degrees out. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> There's a 5.9. And the Durango, that might be a good engine, you never know. I mean, it has that damage there on the uh, driver's side. I think we'll conclude that. I hope you all enjoyed watching that, and if you did, please give me the thumbs up. And if you've never subscribed to me before, please hit that subscribe button right down there. And... Uh, Check out my Amazon links down in the description if you would, and do your Amazon shopping through that, and that helps out the channel. I hope you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving, and we will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.